Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be proving an inequality for real numbers. So at this point you can go out and pause the video and try the problem yourself first. Okay, so we're supposed to prove this inequality and we have fourth powers on the left hand side, x, y, z and w are real numbers. And so we're going to be using some uh, formulas or algebraic identities to prove this. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and use x to the fourth and y to the fourth together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write this as a perfect square. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2x squared y squared from this. So this is going to look like x squared minus y squared squared, which is obviously greater or equal to zero. And I'll be doing the same thing here, z to the fourth, w to the fourth minus 2z squared w squared is equal to z squared minus w squared squared is greater or equal to zero. Since these are perfect squares, they're going to be non-negative if x, y, z, w are real numbers. Okay. Now what's good about this is that I can just go ahead and take these two and forget about the middleman here. So I can just go ahead and write this as x to the fourth plus y to the fourth is greater than or equal to 2x squared y squared. And the same thing goes for the second one. So we'll be getting a nice identity here. Okay. Then I'll be adding these two inequalities side by side because that makes sense because what I have here is, is the sum of fourth power. So I'll be getting that by adding these two quantities. And let's see where this takes us. Is greater than or equal to 2x squared y squared plus 2z squared w squared. Okay, so so far we got this expression which is on the left hand side and the right hand side will take care of that in a little bit. Okay, now, so the right hand side, if I take the two out, it's a sum of two squares and I can actually turn it into a perfect square. So what I need to subtract or add is the 2x um, or I can just call that 2ab, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to write this expression again. But this time, I'll be subtracting 4x, y, z, w from both sides. And you'll notice that it's actually helpful because what I have is on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right-hand side. And you'll understand what I'm doing this. 2x squared, y squared minus, minus, obviously, it's just going to act up. Okay. 2x squared, y squared minus. 4xyzw plus 2z squared w squared. Okay? Now, this expression uh, can be arranged a little bit more. So left-hand side is pretty much going to stay the same. So I can keep it. Okay? The same way. So right-hand side, though, can be written in a nicer way. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a 2 here which then I can write as x squared, y squared, minus, actually, let me go ahead and skip that step if that's okay for you, I think. That should be fine. So when I take the two out, this is going to become xy minus zw quantity squared. Now, what is so special about this? Well, this is a non-negative quantity again, because it's something squared multiplied by two. So everything is non-negative here, which means that this expression is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, isn't that beautiful now that we're almost there? Since our ex original expression is greater than or equal to zero, we've actually proven that x to the fourth plus y to the fourth plus z to the fourth plus w to the fourth is greater than or equal to 4xyzw for xyzw real numbers. So that was the inequality that we were trying to prove initially and we got it. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe and see you in the next video. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.